BlueStacks is a popular Android emulator that lets you run Android apps on your Windows 10 PC. This allows anyone to play their favorite mobile Android games on their PC, although BlueStacks works reliably for most people. Some may encounter problems with it. BlueStacks might function slowly due to a variety of issues ranging from an outdated app version to a shortage of RAM. In this video, we'll show you the tips that you can do if BlueStacks seems to be running slow on your Windows PC. It is important to restart your computer before doing any of the recommended troubleshooting procedures. This procedure will refresh the operating system and delete any corrupt temporary data that may be causing the issue. The first step is to ensure that you are using the most recent version of BlueStacks. New software versions typically include various performance-related enhancements that make them better than previous ones. Here's what you must do. Click on the gear icon on the top right corner of the BlueStacks screen and click on Settings. Go to About tab and click on Check for Updates button. BlueStacks will check for update. Click on download update if the button becomes available. The BlueStacks updater will start downloading the latest available version. Once the downloading is completed, you will get another window. Click on install now button to install the downloaded version of BlueStacks. You may also choose install on next boot if you plan to install it on the next boot. Click on launch button to begin playing the updated version of BlueStacks. The more RAM you give BlueStacks, the better it will perform. This program requires a minimum of 2 gigabytes of RAM. Therefore, if you can raise this, you will notice a performance boost while playing your favorite Android games. Open the BlueStacks emulator. Click the Settings button at the top right of BlueStacks to open a menu. Select Settings to open a window that includes further options for the software. Click the Performance tab on the left of the Settings window. You can select the amount of RAM allocated to BlueStacks. Choose the default presets or you can use the custom option to customize the RAM capacity. Users can also select more CPU cores for BlueStacks. Select the highest number from the CPU cores drop-down menu. One of the most typical causes of BlueStacks slowness is the antivirus software that you are running. To see if this is the source of the problem, try turning it off. The exact steps on how to do this depends on the product you're using. However, if you're using the built-in Windows Defender and did not install any third-party antivirus, Here's what you need to do. Click the Windows button and in the search bar type Windows Defender. Open the application named Windows Defender Security Center. Select the option Virus and Threat Protection. Go to Virus and Threat Protection settings. Search the window which says Add or Remove Exclusions. Windows may prompt you to allow an administrator access to use this feature. If so, press Yes click it and you will be navigated to a menu where you can add exclusions. Click on the option which says exclude a folder and navigate to your BlueStacks directory. Once you reach the location select the folder and save changes. To improve game performance, consider lowering the display resolution. Click the settings button in BlueStacks to open a menu. Select settings on the menu to open a settings window. Then click the display tab if it's not already selected. Select the lower resolution setting. For example, users could select to reduce the software's resolution from 1920 by 1080 to 1600 by 900. In addition, select the low 160 dpi option on the display tab. Having the most recent GPU drivers is very important when you're playing games on PC. Here's what you need to do. Right click the start button. Click device manager. Click the forward arrow before display adapters. Right click the display adapter then click update driver. Click search automatically for drivers. Alternatively, you can install updates for your graphics card using the special software from the manufacturer like the Nvidia GeForce Experience or AMD Radeon software. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it if you can leave a like, subscribe to our channel, or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making sure that Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.